In 1953, on May 28th, the founding father of Azerbaijan Democratic Republic, Mamad Amin Rasulzadeh, delivered his famous speech to the Azerbaijani nation. His speech was broadcasted on Voice of America from Washington. Dear fellow citizens of Azerbaijan, using this opportunity provided by the Voice of America radio station, I would like to address you today on May 28th, the most important day in Azerbaijan's history. After a hundred years of Tsarist occupation, 35 years ago on this day, the Parliament of Azerbaijan declared its independence to the whole world. Till that time, Azerbaijanis had established themselves as a nation, but it was on that day that the people of Azerbaijan created a state. Using its long and rich history, on that day, Azerbaijan gained a significant political achievement. The most important Azerbaijani struggle for freedom during our history took place at the beginning of the 19th century against the Russian Empire. This struggle had lasted for more than 30 years and was full of acts of heroism. In 1904, Javad Khan's battle against the Russian Empire in Ganja City is the greatest example which has since become a story of courage and bravery. Javad Khan's words, we will die but will not surrender are the most important slogan inspiring Azerbaijanis across the world. By declaring its independence on May 28th of 1918, the Azerbaijani nation made its historic dream become a reality. During the very short time of its existence, the Azerbaijan national government was able to accomplish significant achievements. It was able to create a national army, something that was banned for centuries by the Russian Empire. But the Azerbaijan national government created an army of civil servants and trained public administrators. Social reforms were conducted. Legislative frameworks were created to provide land to farmers and protect the rights of laborers. Educational programs were launched to increase literacy. Azerbaijani Turkish was declared the state language. Universities and high schools were created. A Western European style democratic parliamentary governance system was launched. Power was given to the parliament. Without gaining majority endorsement in parliament, no government was allowed to hold on to power. Juridical systems and the courts gained full independence. Azerbaijani towns and cities were flourishing. Those days, there was no incidence of terrorism against its own citizens, something that was prevalent under the Soviet rule. Doors to our motherland were open to the entire world, and Azerbaijani citizens were allowed to travel anywhere they wanted. Productive relationships and friendships were established with our neighbors in European countries. We had trade agreements with all nations of the world. As a result, the independence of Azerbaijan was officially recognized by the European countries and the United States of America. On January 12, 1920, the Azerbaijani nation celebrated the day of recognition of its sovereignty by the international community. This was a very important day in our history and the real celebration for our nation. On that day, the issue of Azerbaijan has become an international matter. We were no longer viewed as part of Russia by the international community. The reign of the Russian Empire in Azerbaijan, which had lasted more than 100 years, ended. Unfortunately, Azerbaijan was destined to face more challenges. The bloody Tsarist rule was replaced by the even bloodier Bolshevik regime. Our newly established freedom and independence was trampled by the Red Soviet invaders. Blood was shed and our independent country ceased to exist. A month ago, on April 28th, the Soviet propaganda machine tried to convey this bloody invasion as the day of independence and freedom. The Soviet regime, nowadays portrayed as the most democratic establishment in Azerbaijan, in reality is the most brutal and hypocritical government system. If you had any opportunity to compare, you would have seen the real face of the Soviets. 
And if they were not scared of us, Azerbaijanis, they would have lifted the Iron Curtain and declared the freedom for all. They will never do that, because it will show who is right and who is wrong. Azerbaijan, along with the other countries in the Caucasus, was able to celebrate its real independence and freedom in May of 1918. Two years later, in 1920, this freedom and independence was drowned in blood by the more advanced and superior Red Russian Army. Tens of thousands of our people became martyrs in this struggle, full of heroism and tragedy. Thirty-three years later, today, the nations of the Caucasus are still struggling for their freedom by a variety of means. More and more people who once followed deceiving communist ideology now are joining the patriots to fight against this Soviet regime. It has been eight years since the end of World War II, but the world cannot gain meaningful peace. The international community has by now started to understand the true face of the Soviet system. The world has already realized that the stronger the communist regime becomes, the harder it will be to achieve peace in the world. taste freedom until there is no one nation, not even one person, who remains in slavery. By declaring their independence, the countries of the Caucasus united their destiny with the future of other free nations. The Soviet dictator Stalin is finally dead. However, the hypocritical system created by him is still in power. This system will continue to confront the world realities. When the truth confronts the lie and the right confronts the wrong, the latter always fails. No doubt that one day the truth will shine and the governments that adhere to the principles of the United Nations, human rights and freedom will prevail in this struggle. These shining lights of freedom will rise up like sun rises from the horizon and enlighten our motherland that has suffered for many years under the red evil. Have no doubt about this. Fellow citizens, I would like to send greetings from us, the people in exile, deprived of our motherland, who carry the three-colored freedom flag on our hearts every day to you, the brothers who live under oppression, deprived of freedom, who live with the great desire of independence. I also want to pay my respect to the people who died for Azerbaijani freedom on May 28th and finish my speech with a small poem which depicts our biggest dream of a united and independent Azerbaijan. As long as we are alive, we love you with our hearts and souls. Long live Azerbaijan! Kıbalık Cihaz Güneş'i, Kızıl İstiklal Cümle Altında inleyen aziz vatanımızda 1918 28 Mayıs günü yeniden doğacaktır. Buna dertliyen şüphe etmeyiniz vatandaşlar. Üç renkli istiklal bayrağını göçlerinde gezdiren buradaki veten ayrısı bizlerden, orada her cüre korku ve tercih altında dertleri istiklal eşliğiyle tırtınan azarlık ayrısı sizlere candan selamlar gönderir, 28 Mayıs İstiklal kurbanlarının aziz ruhları hücumunda hürmetle ergili ve her iki tarafı birleştiren dünyi doğum hesleti 
şairin boyutuyla dile getiririm. Sen bizim sen, bizim sen, kurtuşsa, bedende can, yaşa, yaşa, çok yaşa, ey şanlı Azerbaycan.